Okay, by now you should be pretty familiar with drawing room interiors in one point perspective. If not, go back and watch my other video, Basic One Point Room. In this video, we will learn to draw some basic furniture in one point perspective. So yours will look as cool as all of these. First, don't forget that ever so important vocabulary. One, vanishing point, shown in red. Two, orthogonal lines, shown here in yellow. And of course, vertical and horizontal lines. All right, let's add some fun stuff. We are gonna start with a bed. Decide how far out you would want the foot of the bed to be. Draw a perfectly regular old rectangle on your floor. Nothing fancy, just a rectangle. I want the foot of the bed to match the foot of this one, so I'm adding another horizontal line to show the bottom of the mattress. Next, I connect the top corners of my rectangle to the vanishing point. Here's another fancy vocabulary word. The points or corners where the lines converge is called a vertex. You will connect each vertex to the vanishing point. My bed is transparent, so I have to erase that old floor wall line. The bed doesn't go infinitely into space and then vanish, so I have to make the head of the bed. I draw a perfectly horizontal line connecting the two orthogonal lines, and this is parallel to the top of my original rectangle. Now I can erase the extra orthogonal lines. I do want my bed to have similar features to the example. I'm using my ruler to draw some little vertical lines for the legs of the bed frame. Then I erase the extra horizontal line. Similar to the example now, I am going to draw a blanket and some pillows. I also want a headboard, but I am just going to design my own. Since these objects are pretty much right up against the back wall, I don't have to worry about connecting anything to the vanishing point. Now I would like to draw a dresser similar to this one. I will draw a regular rectangle. It will be lined up with the wall and floor. See how it is the side view of the dresser? Next, I connect the corners or each vertex to the vanishing point. I decide how wide I want my dresser and draw a vertical line. Normally, I would also have to draw a horizontal line to show where my dresser ends, but mine is just about even with the vanishing point and doesn't show. Now I erase my extra orthogonal lines. I wanna add some drawers to my dresser. First, I line my ruler up with the vertical edge and make a few tick marks for how wide I want my dresser. Then I connect each one of those tick marks to the vanishing point. My ruler stays lined up with the tick mark and vanishing point for every line, even if I don't make the line extend past the dresser. Next, I add a few little knobs. I do not need to use the vanishing point or anything for those. However, if I want pull handles, I do have to line those up. Now I'm going to get tricky. Let's draw this desk. Guys, it's so easy. Just watch. Start with a skinny rectangle up against the wall. Connect the vertex points to the vanishing point. Finish off the shape with a horizontal and a vertical. Now those desk legs might seem a little tricky. First, just draw them normal right underneath your original skinny little rectangle. Use your ruler. Connect the bottom of your legs to the vanishing point to see where in space to put the back legs. Voila! Erase all those extra orthogonal lines. All right, one last thing. Let's look at this kitchen example again. If I have something hanging on the back wall, like a clock or even some wall art, I can just draw it. It does not have to go back towards the vanishing point since in space it is even with the vanishing point. If I want a cool bubble light on my ceiling, I don't really have to draw that in perspective either, but a box light or multiple lights or ceiling decorations would have to be drawn in perspective. All right, that's a lot. Good luck drawing in one point perspective.